Okay guys, I'm back for part 4 of Let's Play Electric Box, and hopefully we get done with it this time. Anyways, as I found out recently, I need to have something to pull this box. Do I have another box that I just misplaced? I don't know, because something makes me feel like I'm missing something. Um... Not sure. Something makes me feel like I'm just missing something. We're missing. Oh, I, I placed this one over here for some reason. That's my stupidity. But basically, what we want to do is have um. Once these two things are destroyed, it basically means that we can have um. Another circuit going. So we want to have something that moves these um a little bit further. So we want to have. One of these, I would guess, right here. I would guess we want it right here. I'm not really sure, though. Um, I gotta find out how to do this, because this is really important. All I know is I definitely want this... What was it I wanted? I wanted to um, move this box over here somehow. I'll be right back when I find out how to do it. Okay, I think I've got it now. As you can see, um, I moved this over and I have another fan moving over this way. I hope that is enough to actually make it work. I'm, I'm praying at least. I don't know if it is or not, but I pray it is. So we have this thing here. And I'm hoping that this is enough to actually make all our dreams come true. Um, as you can see, I'm making it to where it's blowing over there. And that should create the circuit needed. Indeed it does. It works really weirdly. But there we go. We've solved the hardest level in the game, in many people's opinions, level 14. And it took me quite a while to figure out too. Um, although I was off camera for you guys for about a minute, it was more for me like 10 minutes. So... Maybe it's just because I'm stupid, I don't know, but that one was really hard. So, we're on to the last level, and this one is a level that I remember by heart, because you have to do this right here, and, um, where we go? I forget how I did this. I know we had a lot of things like this. And I know that we want the light. We're going to have this laser going off here, I guess. And we want it to reflect this way. I think the main thing you want to realize is that we want to have a... Um, thing powering this eventually. Where do I go with this? I forget what I was going to do. Uh, I'm already forgetting what I wanted to do here. Here we go. We want these to be lower. So here we go. Oh wait, crap. I forgot like half of the things here. I want one of these things to be right... Um, what am I doing? Good question. I don't know either. Um, oh yeah, that thing's stuck in place. This has made this infinitely harder here. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to want to do is create a sort of... Um, thing right there. And, um, what else did I want to do? Want a laser thing at each of these points, probably. And what's going to happen here is that it's going to go, bounce up here, bounce up here. It's going to destroy all these and this, destroy all these and this, and destroy all these and this. 
And then that's going to cause this to bounce down here, bounce over here, and give this power. So what we want to do next is create power over here. So what I'm probably going to do is... Um, make a way to get power here. So, at this point, I'm probably going to want to create some power. So, my plan is to... My plan is to pretty much create a source of power here. Where am I at here? Do I not have another one that goes upward like this? My plan is basically to create a way to get power. I don't see it, though. Oh, wait, I had that like that on accident. Okay. So I did that wrong, apparently. What I'm supposed to do is... Um, I would guess that right there. That should help. I'm not figuring out what to do. Come on, guys. I can do this. Let's just do this, I guess. And I would guess that after we destroy the first one, we would want a, um, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, I'll be right back as soon as I set this up. I haven't gotten that much more done, but what I've did here is I have this thing feeding power to this, which will then move this over until it hits this block. And then once it hits this block, I want it to um, have a different thing here that's going to feed into this right here. So we're solving this slightly. And then same thing here. After that, I want it to move again and feed into this thing here. And then let me just rearrange these one more time. I want it to feed into this thing here, and then it will finally end. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. The furniture guy just called. So let me just finish off by then moving this battery. That should do it, I think. I think that'll do it. I'm praying at least that that will do it. Well, let's pray that that'll do it at least. So here we go. And it moves this way. And it stops. So then once this destroys all these blocks, we will get the impulse to actually move this, etc. And our thing will move one more block, and we have it. It can't move anymore, but... You know, that's fine. Um, this will probably be actually the last episode. I'm quite surprised on how well this is going. And right here, we have this thing powering this, and we're going to move the battery so that we can stop the power. And there we go. We are done now, and we have created a circuit that doesn't work anymore. And we did it, guys. So we finished off this Let's Play. I think it's been four parts. So that's quite successful. Next level. We are done. There are no more levels, as this thing says. So, I've been happy to do this Let's Play with you guys. Um, and I've been Skittylover33, as always. And I will see you for the next Let's Play, whatever it is. So, goodbye, guys.